Good afternoon. Welcome to Goodison Park. Hello, fan zone. Are you all all right? Give me a cheer. Oh, I need it louder than that. Give us a cheer, fan zone. Here we go. That's a bit better. I'm going to make sure you're in full voice for the game against Aston Villa this afternoon. It is, of course, a three o'clock kickoff. Lots for you coming up in the fan zone. And just a reminder that fans supporting food banks are here every single home game. It's the purple van towards the back of the fan zone there. So make sure if you can, you can bring something along. They do brilliant work right across Merseyside. Also today, you may see when you're inside the game on the big screens, there will be tribute to John Motson. I'm sure you saw the headlines yesterday. His voice was just iconic, wasn't it, with football? He covered 10 World Cups, 10 European Championships and 29 FA Cup finals throughout his career. And he was with Match of the Day since 1971. So, yeah, we'll be paying our own tributes as a club to John Motson today. I'll have more what's coming up in the fan zone in just a second. But let's cross now to my friend Sarah Halpin, who is pitch side with a little bit more. Sarah. Thanks, Julia. Yes, welcome back to Everton Live. Welcome back inside Goodison Park. As you can see, I'm stood in front of the Gladys Street, which in just a couple of hours will be absolutely rocking. Aston Villa, the visitors today. And of course, we've won our last two games here at Goodison Park. Would be brilliant if we could make that three out of three. We've got plenty coming up your way on the show today. Of course, we'll hear from players and Sean Dyche ahead of the game. We'll have Katrine Vaya here from Everton Women and plenty more coming your way on Everton Live. So enjoy the show back to you guys in the fan zone yeah thank you Sarah yeah hopefully three wins out of three today that would do us wouldn't it and it's kind of Cody's birthday as well so if you see him maybe try and wish him a happy birthday you know quite a few of you have put a bet on him getting a birthday goal today so I'm pretty sure that might happen uh, also coming up today we've got higher or lower it's your chance to play our competition and win a stadium tour for two people at Goodison Park so I'll be looking for any volunteers you can play on your own or as a team I'll come out in the fan zone and find some people to play Jordan Pickford as well that was brilliant news wasn't it this week that he signed a brand new deal here at Everton we'll hear from our goalkeeper and England's number one later on in the fan zone as well we'll also hear from an opposition journalist just to find out a little bit more about what we can expect from Aston Villa. So lots coming up in the fan zone between now and 2.30. Thanks if you're joining us on Everton Live by watching at home. Thanks for your company this afternoon, cheering the blues on from all around the world. Now we're going to get some music. Please welcome back to the stage Mick from the Johns. Like a branch on a tree, I keep reaching to be free. Moving on, moving on. Cause there's a place in the sun where there's hope for everyone. Well, my poor restless heart got a run. There's a place in the sun Where before my life is done Gonna find me a place in the sun Like a river downstream Keep flowing towards a dream Moving on Moving on like the tide of love, I've been rolling since my birth. Moving on, moving on. There's a place in the sun where there's hope for everyone. But my poor, restless I gotta run. There's a place in the sun 
Baby, for my life is done Gonna find me a place in the sun Yes, there's a place in the sun Where before my life is done Gonna find me a place in the sun Yes, there's a place in the sun Where there's hope for everyone Gonna find me a place in the sun I'm gonna find me a place in the sun I'm gonna find me a place in the sun Thank you. That's brilliant. A big thank you to Mick there from the Johns. He'll be back again shortly in the fan zone. As you know, quite often we like to talk to people who support Everton from all around the world. So coming up, Sarah is going to be talking to some people from a Spain supporters club and finding out a bit more as they've made the trip to Goodison Park. Uh, the under-21s, if you don't know already, on Thursday will be playing right here at Goodison Park. It is a 7pm kickoff, and they're taking on PSV Eindhoven. Now, if you're a season ticket holder or an official member just bring your card along to the game the turnstiles will open at 5 30 and you'll be able to come in free of charge to watch that game if you want to buy a ticket and you're not a season ticket member just go to the ticket pages of the everton website to find out more details we've got some highlights for you now though from their last trip out it was at walton hall park and they took on dinamo zagreb this is what happened <laughs> Delighted to be joined pitch side now by, uh, by Arnel Goreño. Hopefully I've pronounced that more or less right. <laughs> um, from Everton FC Spain. Yeah. Arnel, thank you so much for joining us. I believe you've been here many times over the last 10 years or so. It is such a special club, Everton Football Club. We know that no matter where in the world you're from, it's a club that once you make that connection, as you just said, you fall in love with the club and it's been that way for you ever since, I guess. Yeah, since I came here for the first time, I decided to... to make a social media like Everton FC Spain in Twitter Brilliant. so everyone in Spain could follow me and, and know that this is a big club and everyone must know that Everton is the people's club so that is an amazing club for us. It's fantastic and the fact that you created Everton FC Spain so that other toffees out in Spain can you know participate and feel that sense of belonging and community and you know what do you guys get up to on, on the normal match day when you're back in Spain. Yeah, in a normal match day, we always meet in a pub in Barcelona. In nice. Our city. Yes. Uh, beautiful city. Beautiful city. And uh, we always meet uh, one or two hours before the game. So we start talking about the uh, predictions for the game. And then we see the game in, a, in, in, the, in that pub. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's amazing because we are like 20, 30 toffees there. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, in Barcelona. Yeah. We spend a really, really good time. Even if it's on Monday on afternoon, we also 
also meet there. So we, we go every day, uh, every, and every match day we are in that path. I love that yeah. so much. Next time I'm in Barcelona, I know exactly where yeah, I'm so going to be yeah. with Everton FC Spain. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really excited for that. And obviously the last two games at Goodison Park, 1-0 mm -hmm. against Leeds, 1-0 against Arsenal. Sean Dyche has come in and is so far doing well. Do you think we can make it three, one, three wins on the bounce today? It will be a tough game against Aston Villa. It will be a tough game, of course, because Aston Villa, Aston Villa is a great team. But I think uh, we, this will be a win for us and uh, fair wins in a row, home. For now, for, for us, uh, being here, the first game that we want to see a Sean Dyke. Yes. Play, so it's, it's really nice. And I think today we will win. 2-0 for us, 2-0. Oh, now I really hope you're right. That'll be a lovely, lovely afternoon here at Goodison Park. Um, just to finish on as well, for any you know Spanish toffees mm -hmm. who want to participate and join Everton FC Spain, you tell them how to get in touch and what to do. Yes, you only have to follow us on Everton FC Spain. You can DM uh, us and we'll be, we will contact you to to share our our meeting place, our path, and we'll we'll be see we'll be seeing the the toughest games every week. So. I'm going to be there soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't wait for it. Well, I hope you really enjoy the game. I hope the Blues get a win for you and that you and your friends have the best time. Thank you very much. And come on, you Blues. On, you blues. <laughs> Back to you, Julia. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you, Arno, as well. I'll tell you what, I bet it's a little bit warmer if you're the Spain Supporters Club watching us from Barcelona because it's pretty freezing here right now in the fan zone. I'm told we're going to get team news very, very soon, so I'm going to bring that to you in just a second. I have got time for some score predictions. Who'd like to give me some score predictions today? Would you like to give... i tell you what, you've just walked past me, unfortunately. <laughs> do you want to give me a score prediction? Go on, do you think Everton are going to win today? Yeah. And what do you think the score might be? 2-1. One. 2-1. One. And are you happy Jordan Pickford signed a new deal? Yeah. Brilliant. That's all we like to know. Yes, he's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, we're going to bring you an interview with Jordan Pickford very soon. Would you like to give me a score prediction? Here we go. What's your score prediction today? Is it going to be an Everton win? Um, one all. A one all draw. You'd take that, would you? Who's your favourite player? Alex Awobi. Alex Awobi, fantastic. Yeah, well, maybe Alex Awobi might be on the score sheet today as well. I am going to get team news very soon. Would you like to come over here and give me a score prediction? No, you've gone shy. Anybody else? Here we go. I presume you're an Everton fan with all your Everton merchandise on. What score do you think it's going to be today? 2-0. 2-0, brilliant. And who's your favourite player? Seamus Coleman. Seamus Coleman. Oh, I tell you what, who celebrated his goal and went absolutely mental last week? It was a brilliant one, wasn't it? Who do you, I'll tell you what, do you want to give me a score prediction then? <laughs> Are Everton going to win today? 2-0 Villa. 2-0 Villa? Are you a Villa fan? Oh, well, welcome to the fan zone anyway. We don't mind that at all. We're all welcoming here. Uh, I'm just looking up to see if we're going to get team news very soon. I think I've got time. Here we go. No, you've gone shy. Would you like to give me a score prediction, sir? 3-1 um, Villa. Oh, there's a lot of Villa fans. I'll tell you what, if you're a Villa fan, give me a cheer. We like that. We like you're always welcome in the fan zone. We don't mind that whatsoever. Have you had a good, a safe journey here today? Fantastic. Well, welcome to Goodison Park. Thank you for joining us. You're always welcome in the fan zone. We never mind that. We've got one more minute to team news. I tell you what, do you like to give me a score prediction? Come over here then. Here we go. Who's your favourite player? Although I think I might know. Jordan Pickford. Jordan Pickford. So what was your reaction like when you heard that he was staying? Very good. Very good. And your chips look absolutely delicious. So before you have another chip, do you want to give me a score prediction today? 2-1. Uh, 2-1 two one. Two one to Everton. Who do you think might score? Anyone you're not bothered as long as it, the, the playing in blue. Coleman. Seamus Coleman. A lot of love for Seamus Coleman, isn't there? He is an absolute legend. Well, you enjoy the game and you've got your Jordan Pickford top on there as well. Absolutely brilliant. Right. I am just looking at the screen. We've nearly got the team news. Tell you what, Sean Dyche is holding on to it today, isn't he? Would anyone, would you like to give me a, a score prediction? Come over here so we can see you. What do you think is going to happen today? Is it going to be an Everton win? Yeah, 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. And who do you think might be on the score sheet? Uh, Mope. Mope. Oh, I tell you what, that would be brilliant. And who was loving Seamus Coleman's goal last week? Everybody was. Give us a cheer for Seamus Coleman. Absolute legend. Here we go. I think we are going to get team news. Have we been allowed to have it? As the manager said, as the gaffer said, I don't want to upset him. I tell you what, it looks like he might put me on that wheel of misfortune that he's doing with the players and that they're getting trouble and have to do a forfeit. We don't want that. Here we go. 
We are allowed to bring you the team news right now. I want to hear a big cheer for the Blues. This is how Everton line up today. Number one, Jordan Pickford. Number two, James Tarkovsky. Number seven, Dwight McNeil. Number eight, Amadou Anana. Number 16, Abdoulaye Decore. Number 17, Alex Awobi. Number 19, Vitaly Mikalenko. 20, Neil Mopé. 23, and captain Seamus Coleman. 27, Idrissa Garnagay. And number 30, the birthday boy today, Connor Cody. That's your starting 11 for Everton. Everton substitutes look like this. Number 15, Asmir Begovic. Number 4, Mason Holgate. Number 5, Michael Keane. Number 11, Damari Gray. Number 13, Yerry Mina. 22, Ben Godfrey. 26, Tom Davis. 29, Ruben Vinagra. And number 50, Ellis Sims. That is the blue squad for match day today. This is how our opponents, Aston Villa, will line up. Number one, Emiliano Martinez. Number two, Matty Cash. Number four, Esri Concert. Number five, Tyrone Mings. Number six, Douglas Louise. Number seven, John McGinn. Number 11, Ollie Watkins. Number seven, Luca Dean. Number 31, Leon Bailey. Number 41, Jacob Ramsey. And number 44, Babacar Kamara. That is how Aston Villa will line up. We can take a look at the substitutes bench. 38, Voldami Sinisalo. 48, Oliver Zeich. Number 9, Bertrand Traore. Number 10, Emiliano Buenda. 15, Alex Moreno. 16, Callum Chambers. 18, Ashley Young. 20, Jon Duran. And 32, Leandra, Leandra Dendonka. That is how Aston Villa will line up today. Now, we've been talking about him before. Jordan Pickford has signed that new deal here. Keeping me at Everton for much longer. He is a legend, isn't he? England's number one. And this is what he's had to say this week. Jordan, a new four and a half year deal at Everton. What's it mean for you to commit your future to the club? Yeah, it's massive. You know, I've been here since I was 22. Um, and to get offered a new contract, and that's such a special club for me. Uh, Going, coming here as a, a young man and turning into a man. Um, and for my family, it's massive. Um, but yeah, the support I've had over the last few years as a at the club is massive for me and just want to keep going, working hard. You know, we're in a tough place at the minute in the league, but something I want to get out with the team and help the team and do my best and keep climbing the table. It's something that's been discussed for a while. So how important was it for you to get the contract signed? Yeah, it's been discussed probably since the end of last season, really, and I'm happy to sign here and get the job done. You, England's number one. You're one of the best goalkeepers in football. So what were the key factors behind you wanting to commit your future to Everton? Yeah, for me, it's, it's a massive club, and the last couple of seasons or the last few seasons hasn't been ideal and where I haven't want to be. Um, you know, I signed them in Europa League, and that was the aim every year. Um, but now... We've had a lot of new managers and we've got another new manager, um, the gaffer, come in and I think he'll, he'll sort the club right out and point us in the right direction and get us up that table. But yeah, for me, it's definitely about being successful at this club. They've been, they've been great with me since I've walked through the door and, and I, I want to keep being great for them. You spoke to us in the summer about building a legacy at Everton. Is that something that's important to you now? Yeah, I've committed another four and a half years and that'll take me over 10 years at the club, so 100% um, building a legacy, you know, Neville, Neville Southall's created a legacy and what a goalkeeper he was, um, had great goalkeepers over the years and Tim Howard, I, I want to put myself up there as well as being one of the best keepers to play for Everton. <laughs>
There you go. There was another update on the Bramley Moor Stadium. I tell you what, whenever I go home from a game and you see it lit up with the cranes and things, it just looks magnificent, doesn't it, on the waterfront? So every time there's an update, we'll make sure you're all across it so you can see how it's coming along. Uh, coming up soon in the fan zone, I'm going to be looking for some volunteers who might want to play higher or lower. It is your chance to win a stadium tour for two people here at Goodison Park. So I'll come and find you. You might want to play on your own or play as a team. Team, it's absolutely fine. I'll come and look for some volunteers in just a second. Now we're going to have some music again. Please welcome back to the fan zone Mick from the Johns. On two. If I could look down on the wheel from above Try to find it in the works of love Would be hard to find in this mixed up mind That is life It's a long old climb and a tough old fight But I know that we could wait tonight He looking down and stop those people who Take us to the ground, oh yeah Ooh. Ay, 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 Find a culprit to show them the bill Let me pick the ones who don't deserve to die Let me change the future from the sky Stop these crimes before they happen And all the people who the cons and trapping Get rid of all those schemers And I love to really help those awful teamers Oh yeah I'm a nowhere man But I love to have the world in my command As long as I can team a change I'll make the world start much that was uh, mick from the johns i'm sure they will be back with us again in the fan zone another day okay now it's always nice to find out a little bit more isn't it about who we're playing so i'm delighted to welcome to the fan zone ashley priest from the birmingham mail if you give him a big round of applause here he is just move that microphone out of the way. There we go. Uh, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, Unai Emery then obviously came in, didn't he? And he seems to have made an immediate impact, although I know the results recently haven't been quite what Villa would have wanted. How has he gone down with the fans then? Well, yeah, fans love him, really. He understands what I'm saying as well, my accent <laughs> as well, which is quite good. Yeah, we have that with Scouse accent here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's lost three on the spin, so he's um, very frustrated. I can't, I can't tell you enough how how demand, demanding he is of his players. So he's never lost four on the spin before in his career. So hopefully uh, that doesn't happen today. But yeah, uh, top level manager, been around the game, got the t-shirt and uh, yeah, hopefully next season's the one for Villa. Yeah, he certainly, you know, his CV is fantastic, isn't it? What did he change then when he came in to Villa? And also who thrived off that in particular? 
Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess, really, when Stephen Gerrard was there. Confidence was down. I think Ollie Watkins, he's scored four on the bounce in the last four weeks. Uh, he's really come on leaps and bounds. I think he's just simplified it a little bit, keeping possession. Don't, don't always rush. Um, and gradual build-up play, and the players are buying into it, his methods, very detailed in what he does as well. Um, but yeah, when you win games, like he did when he first came in, brings confidence and, and things are looking up now. Yeah, it always sounds so simple, doesn't it? Win games and the confidence goes yeah. up. As if only it were that simple, hey, it's football. Uh, Villa going into this round of games, 11th, 28 points. What is the realistic expectation then for this season? This season, he wants a top half finish. Villa haven't finished in the top half since... 2011 so it's a big ask given the teams above us at the moment Chelsea people like that so so yeah top half finish is the aim I've got a feeling I'll just finish just 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 under that but um hopefully don't get dragged into a relegation fight because lose three on the speed lose today Everton will be four points behind Villa then so fingers crossed that doesn't happen yeah, how concerned have Villa fans been about, you know, you always hear change of manager, new manager bounce, obviously Sean Dyche has come in here. Is that something the Villa fans are talking about? Uh, yeah, I think, I think the honeymoon period's weird off now. I think, I think we're looking towards the summer as well to, to change the squad as, as a whole. Um, but yeah, the, the fans are re really loving the manager. His backroom team are fantastic. And up until of late, the performance has been really good as well, especially away from home. The home form's been a bit patchy. Um, so, yeah, it needs to improve the home form before the season's out. But, yeah, it's looking good. It really is. There's a lot of Everton fans here then. Who should they be looking out for in the Villa side? Who do you think is going to cause the Blues the most problems? I think Luca Dean. I think he's back in the team today. <laughs> well, we know stick. him. <laughs> yeah, he'll get some stick today. I'm surprised he's come back in, to be honest, because um, Emery signed a new left back in the, in the January. Alex Moreno did, did very, very well. But Dean's back in the side today. But Ollie Watkins is the one. He scored four, four on the bounce. No other Villa player has done that since Paul, Paul Rideout back in 85. He's played for Everton. So he's looking to score f uh, five in five consecutive games. So Ollie Watkins is the big threat today. Yeah, it's difficult for Luca Dean, isn't it? He's always one of those ones, isn't it, where you come back to your former ground and you want to put on a good show as well, don't you? Sometimes the pressure can get to people, though, can't it? Yeah, I'm sure he'll, get, he'll, he'll be targeted today down that left flank. Um, so, yeah, Everton will go at him as well. He's back in the side, so he'll be a bit, bit, bit nervous. But, um, yeah, he got an assist here last season for Buendia's goal for the corner. So he'll be hoping to, to, to win today. But, um, yeah, I'm expecting a really, really intense atmosphere. Like you say, Dolce won two on the bounce here. So a bit of a cauldron here, as it always is. So I'm sure the Everton fans will ramp it up a notch. Is it a ground you like to come to in your job? Yeah, it's a, a better half of Liverpool for me, better half of Merseyside. <laughs> you can uh, come again. <laughs> yeah, uh, I do like the Everton fans. Got a lot of, got a few Everton mates as well. And, uh, yeah, old school. It's a shame they're, mo shame they're moving from here. I do like the Goodison. But um, things change, don't they? So um, hopefully the new stand will be fantastic as well. What does Unai Emery have to say then about Everton when he's asked at his press conference and people say, you know, obviously, you know, it's not been the ideal season for us Blues. But what did he have to say about us? He knows what to expect. Uh, physical battle, demanding. You've got to give 110%. And the set pieces as well, as well, as well today. Tarkowski's a big threat for me. Um, scored against Arsenal here, didn't he? He hit the post as well. Yeah. Massive threat to Arkoski. So set pieces will be the one today. Emery will be looking for and hopefully stamp out. Yeah, don't mention the hitting the post in the derby. We don't want to relive that one, thank you. Uh, yeah, Connor Cody's birthday as well, so you can have that one for your match reports yeah. if he does score. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple of minutes left, so if I just take your score prediction then. I always feel a bit mean doing this because obviously you're here to cover Aston Villa and the majority of the audience are blue, but what do you think is a, is a realistic score prediction for today? Does I have the points being thrown at me? I'll go 1-1, one, one, sit on the fence. <laughs> Very safe, but you're welcome back any time. There's a lot of Villa fans here, actually, Sorry. and we love that one when the opposition fans get stuck in. Ashley, thank you so much no for your time. I know you've got to go in and get in position ready, have yeah. a year for your match report. Yeah. Thanks for joining Thanks. us and, and join us again in the fan yeah. zone you anytime. Too. Thank you. That was Ashley Priest there from the Birmingham Mail. Uh, thank you. It's always nice, isn't it, when we get to hear a little bit about what we can expect from the team that we're playing today. Uh, right, now it's time for higher or lower. So I'm going to make my way over here because I did have some contestants today. Uh, I'm just going to jump down here. Hopefully not full. There we go. Uh, we're going to come round here. So I've got my contestants. We've got one team here. So let's meet team number one. Who's your team captain? Should we go for the littlest one? What's your name? Fergus. Fergus. And what's your name? Jim. And what's your name? Matt. Matt. Okay, you're going to play as a three. The prize is a stadium tour for two people, so that might be slightly awkward. <laughs> <laughs> one of you won't be able to go. Uh, who are your favourite players? Uh, 
Anana and Awobi. Anana and Awobi, what about yourself? Uh, Pickford. Jordan Pickford, so you're very happy with his new deal then. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Do you have a favourite Everton player, past or present? Tarkovsky. Tar- oh, yeah. I think he's suddenly become, after that Arsenal performance, he has become a bit of a legend in these parts, hasn't he? OK, stay there. I'm going to be back to you in a second. Now, your team that you're playing, where's he? Dis- here we go. It was you, wasn't it? Come over here, because it's your birthday, isn't it? No, it's not your birthday. Whose birthday was it? I've lost them. It's Connor Cody's birthday. Yeah, you're quite right. It is Connor Cody's birthday. I'll tell you what, would you like to play higher or lower? Because I don't know where my contestant's gone. Here you go. You come over. What's your name? Joseph. Joseph. And how old are you, Joseph? Ten. You're ten. And who's your favourite Everton player? Tarkowski. Oh, I, tell, I told you, didn't I? He's very popular now, isn't he? All right, if you want to stand here, this is higher or lower. So we can ask the fan zone to help you, OK? And all you have to do is say higher or lower when we put the cards up. Really simple. All right, so we'll start with team number one. Here we go. I'm going to put your cards up. So if you look at the big screen here for me, so you can't miss them because they're giant. Okay, here we go. So it's the most touches made in this season so far. So it's pretty difficult, this one, isn't it? It's not something you would normally count yourselves. Idrissa Garner Gay, 1,010. But what about Seamus Coleman? Do you want me to ask the fan zone for a bit of help? Are we saying Seamus is higher or lower, fan zone? Oh, they're saying lower and they're saying higher. So of no use to you. What do you think? A lower. You're saying lower for Seamus Coleman. Let's see if it's lower and get you a point on the board. It is 645. Well done. You've got a point there. Okay. Nathan Patterson. Now think about this. So is it higher or lower? Fan zone, what do you think? Higher or lower than Seamus's 645? Okay. The fan zone are pretty sure it's lower. So what do you think? What do you want to go for? What do you think? Higher. You're going to say higher than 645. Let's have a look. Oh, well done. You were right to ignore the fan zone there. 702. Okay, Jordan Pickford. So do you think that might be high? Fan zone, help them out. Higher or lower for Jordan Pickford? Higher? They're saying higher. It's up to you. What do you think? Do you want to go? Higher. You say higher as well. Let's see if it's higher. Is it higher than... It is. 947. Three points on the board. Well done. You're doing really well. Okay, Dwight McNeil. What do we reckon, fan zone? Higher or lower for Dwight McNeil? They're saying lower. A lot are saying lower, actually. Well, it's up to you. What do you think? Lower. You're going to say lower. Is it lower than 947? Let's have a look. It is. Wow, you're good at this. I thought it was a bit of a random subject, this, but you seem pretty good at it. Maybe you have been counting. Uh, Vitaly Mikolenko, then. So is it higher or lower than Dwight Menil's 701 fan zone? What do you think? Okay, they're all saying higher, but it's up to you. What do you think? Higher. You're saying higher as well. This is for the clean sweep. Let's see if we can get it higher. It is. Wow. Five points. That is fantastic. I can't remember the last time we had someone do a clean sweep there. Well done. All right, then. Here we go. If you come over here, then. Right. Let's see. You've got five to beat, and then we might take it to a tiebreaker. So let's have a look at your cards for you. We'll get the fan zone to help you. Don't worry. Let's have a look. Here we go. Okay, Neil Mope has made 302 touches this season. But what about Abdullah Decore? I tell you what, shall I ask the fan zone for help? Do I say higher or lower? You don't need... Oh, they're confident though. They're saying they don't need it. What do you think? Higher. You say higher for Decore. Let's have a look. Is it higher? Oh, 291. That was so close. Never mind. Let's keep playing. Here we go. Amadou Anana. Oh, we've seen higher or lower fan zone. Help him out. There you go. Higher. You're saying higher. So we need this to be higher than 291. 
Whoa, a lot higher. 966. Well done. Is that, is that you? <laughs> All right. Alex Awobi. Oh, what do we think, fan zone? Higher or lower? I'm not sure on this. You're saying higher? Okay, the lad over there says higher. It's up to you. Lower? You're going to go for lower. Alex Awobi, is it lower than 966? Oh, higher. 1,282 touches this season so far. Here he is. He's everyone's favourite player at the moment, James Tarkovsky. Higher or lower, fan zone? What do you think? They're saying lower. Oh, you're saying higher. The fan zone are of no use to you here, so you're all on your own. What do you think? Lower. You're going to say lower. Let's have a look. He's Tarky lower. Oh, my goodness me. 1,493 touches. Who'd have thought that? And here you go. Connor Cody, birthday boy. What do you think, higher or lower? Fan zone, higher or lower? They're saying lower, but what do you think? Lower. You're going to say lower. Is it lower than 1,493? It is lower. You got two points there. 1,264 touches for Connor Cody. I'm afraid you haven't won the tour. But it's your birthday. And let, oh, but I tell you what, I can give you a match day program. How's that? There you go. Give him a round of applause and it's his birthday. Well done. But here we go. Here's my A team. I tell you what, we've not had this for such a long time where somebody has got a clean sweep. But you've done it. You've got a match day program and inside is your certificate for your stadium tour. You get to go in all the places that normally the stewards say you're not allowed to go. So you can have your photograph taken where your favourite player gets changed. So who was it again? Where would, where would you like to sit? In who's play In a Wobie's chair. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, have a good time. Give them a round of applause, everyone. A full house there on higher or lower. I've not seen that for ages. That was absolutely brilliant. Don't forget, we will be back in the fan zone for the Brentford game Saturday, the 11th of March. So I hope you can join us then for Everton Live as well. The under-21s are playing here next Thursday. If you want a ticket, get on the Everton website. You can get all the details there. And also the Women's Super League, the Merseyside Derby is being held here at Goodison Park. That one is the 24th of March. It is a Friday. Make sure you come here and support the girls i know 10,000 tickets have already been sold so make sure that we can try and get as many people inside goodison for that because it's going to be a brilliant game thanks for your company a big thank you to sarah who will be continuing with everton live online right now and we'll see you again soon in the fan zone thank you So we've had the team news, of course, already, but just to give you a recap on that, Everton start in 11 and substitutes are unchanged from the team that beat Leeds last weekend. But let's have a look at the visitors in Aston Villa. They go number one in goal, Emiliano Martinez, number two, Matty Cash, four, Esri Konza, five, Tyrone Mings, number six, Douglas Louise, seven, John McGinn, number 11 and on fire at the moment. We'll have to keep him out. Ollie Watkins, number 27, Luca Dean returns. 31, Leon Bailey, 41, Jacob Ramsey and 44, Bubakar Kamara. On the substitutes bench for Aston Villa today, we have Sinisalo, Zaich, Traore, Buendia, Moreno, Chambers, Young, Duran and Den Donker. And of course, the head coach and manager Unai Emery so that is the team news for you just a little recap but coming up next I love this feature it's the women's ultimate teammates best dribbler let me have a think first best dribbler Benny Hannah Benison Benny? Benny. 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 Yeah. Benny. <laughs> Izzy's got good feet. Nika. Jess Park. Jess. I think Jess. One on one v one on stop. I'm gonna say Jess. Oh no, I still would I still would say Jess. <laughs> 
Can I see myself? <laughs> Me. Yes, <laughs> Tony or Benny? Tony Duggan. Catcher. Uh, cat. I think cat. Catcher girl. Yeah. You, you can't do it. No, 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 catcher. <laughs> I think it. <laughs> cat. Cat. Coffee, coffee, lots of. Catcher. Cassia. Catcher. Katja. Mm? Me. Brilliant feature that, but look who I'm joined by now. Absolutely delighted to be joined by Katrine via Katrine. Welcome, this is your debut on Everton Live. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and you've been to Goodison Park before, but how much are you looking forward to, to being here for this game? It's a massive one today for the I Blues. I can't wait. Like, the boys actually need three points. Um, they have done so well, so I hope they, they get the three points. Definitely. And, and to make it even more exciting for you, Kat, is that, of course, you will be playing here in just less than a month's time now for the Merseyside derby, Friday night under the lights. You must be so excited to play in such a historic stadium. Yeah, I mean, we played Liverpool um, at Anfield and it was such a, like, such a good feeling. And playing here, it's going to be unbelievable. I can't wait and hopefully there's going to be so many supporters as today. So yeah, fingers crossed. Let's hope so, because of course, we did play Liverpool at Anfield earlier in the season. We know how that went. We won 3-0, absolutely dominated the game. You got yourself uh, pretty much an assist for Meg Finnegan's goal as well, the opening goal. You'd love to replicate that, wouldn't you? That would be great, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like, I can't wait for the game. It's so important. And yeah, a derby against Liverpool, it's just what everyone dreams about. And I hopefully we get the three points there as well. Let's hope so, because it'd be so special to do that in front of these Evertonians. And, you know, we found out in recent days that we've already sold 10,000 tickets, which is really impressive given that we've still got a month to go to the game. So yeah. to anybody who, if you haven't already booked your ticket for the Derby, book, the book your we ticket. Need, we need the support. We so, need the support. Yeah. This is, you, ha, it'd be great, wouldn't it, to have, you know, yeah. a full stadium as, as close to full. We sold... Liverpool sold 27,000 for Anfield. We yeah. want to beat that, don't we? Yeah, We've yeah. got to beat them at everything we yeah. do. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just so important for for us as players to have the fans in the stands and like we can hear them even like in Walton Hall Park, we can hear them all the time, but it's just like special here because yeah. it's like this massive stadium and it's unbelievable. And, you know, you did the open training here as well, so you had like a, a taste of it before, but I think certainly as a supporter, lifelong supporter, this place, when it's dark and the lights are on, is just a different class. So, goosebump stuff, eh? Yeah, even like walking out of the tunnel when the players did that, and I was like, it's going to be us very soon. And it's just so important that the fans is here, and we will, we will show them that we can beat them again, and we will do everything. We will be well prepared. So, yeah, that's the main goal to beat Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's hope so. And of course, you know, this is your first season with with Everton fans, but I've said to you many times, Kat. You feel like a player that's been here for years. The way you fit in, you know, on and off the pitch as well, I think it's safe to say. Are you really enjoying your time as a Toffee? I am. I uh, had some hard months during the last, uh, yeah, last three months because of my injury. Hopefully um, I'll be back for the weekend, but we'll see. But yeah, it's just so easy. As I spoke with you about before, it's just easy to be on the team, outside the pitch. The girls are super nice and like, yeah, the whole atmosphere around the club has just been very easy to settle in. And the fans love you, Kat, as you know. Um, we have missed you playing, of course. Hopefully see you back for the, the coming games against Aston Villa and Liverpool, etc. But, you know, what your relationship with the fans already? Because you play down the left-hand side at Walton Park. They're chanting, they're screaming for you. What's that been like? For me, it's very important with the fans. Like, yeah. I always pay attention to them. Um, so yeah, I just like talking with some of the fans right now and they were like super nice, we want you back. It's just very important with the with the support we get. So I hope it I like I can crack on and like get back on the pitch and do well as I did before the injury. So yeah, fingers crossed for that as well. Let's hope so. Well, before the break, obviously you weren't able to play but you were in the stands. I was stood with you for the last sort of couple of minutes of the game against Manchester United. Oh, yeah. It was a really good point to get against the top top side. But are you glad now that we kept a clean sheet and you think 
right I'm ready to come back in now you've missed playing haven't you yeah definitely like for me the ball is so important like I, I really miss the ball I was on the pitch today ball wise and it it went super well so we good will see but yeah as you said against United it was just so important to get three points uh, one point against them because they're a massive team and they're yeah. super good so for us it was just very good to so we can crack on and be like be the best of the rest I would say yeah absolutely um, because Arsenal Chelsea City United it's just so good players they have a massive squad so for us it's just important to get points against them and then beat the rest a hundred percent and that brings us to the Aston Villa game which is of course coming up very soon as well at Walton Hall Park again you must be there for that we want you to be there cheering the girls on we beat them away from home we beat them on penalties in the in the Conti Cup but I'd say that's a pretty defining game in terms of being the best of the rest how are you feeling ahead of that game because that's arguably bigger than the derby in terms of what it'll mean for the league yeah so Aston Villa is a good team as well yeah. like they're super aggressive like play good football for us we just need to be calm on the ball, trust our progress, and then, yeah, score. Yeah. That's the main thing. So, for us, um, yeah, as you said, it's so important that we get three points against them. And I think all the girls are excited after being with the national team back now. And then, yeah, we, we have the week to build up, and then we go from there. I uh, can't wait. I'll be in next week as well, giving you grief at training, no doubt. I like to do a head in at training. We have fun, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> but just quickly, before we let you go, do you think it'll be a tough game today, but do you think it's a game that Everton can win if we get the fans right behind them? Definitely. As, as you said, like the fans are so important and I'm sure the boys will get three points. They know it's an important game as well. So, yeah, we need the three points. That's it. Absolutely. Well said, Kat. And we both want to see you at Walton Hall Park in the coming weeks. And, of course, Goodison Park under the lights, 24th of March. I will keep telling you to be there. But now we've had some great news yesterday. Jordan Pickford has signed his long-term future to Everton. Let's hear from him now. Jordan, we'll get to the game shortly. But first, news on your four-year new contract to Everton. Yeah, great. Um... Really happy to sign here again. Uh, four years, security for me. Um, a great club and something we want to keep pushing forward. And to be a part of is amazing. Yeah. Talking about pushing forward, obviously you know the home momentum under Sean Dyche, back-to-back -back wins now. Defensively, what is there anything particular that the new manager's brought to the side? No, I think we've got a, a great. To be fair, I think all season we've had decent defence. You know, at the start of the season, but. Yeah, hopefully get another clean sheet today against a decent side. Um, but yeah, I think we've been defending really well of recent weeks. But it's not just us and the keepers in the back four to full time doing the doing the work. And I've no doubt you've done your prep on Ollie Watkins, a striker you've come up against many a time, played within England as well. He's a man in form. Your yeah. thoughts on taking on him this afternoon? Yeah, he's a top player, you know. Yeah, you don't get England caps for nothing. So I know he's a top player, but we've got top top players to stop him and hopefully clean sheet in the win. Be nice. Appreciate your time. Good Cheers, luck. Thank, thank you. you. Just absolutely fantastic stuff. There's a lot of happy Evertonians today. You should have heard the roar when Jordan came out before. And somebody else who will be delighted with the news that he put pen to paper is the manager, Sean Dyche. Let's hear from him now. Sean, unchanged side here for Aston Villa this afternoon. How are you, the players, feeling? Yeah, good. Um, Unchanged, I thought it was a very competitive performance and a good performance in order to win the last game. Um, so I've left it alone. I uh, want to see the same performance again or certainly similar. Is it a good time to play Aston Villa? Lost three, Premier League games are tough, but your thoughts on playing them in this current run of form? Well, they had a good run before that, of course, and, and two of them were, were top sides, you know what I mean? No disrespect to Leicester, but not up there where the others are. Um, but, you know, they're still a decent outfit. I mean, I don't, we don't rely on the past form. It's sometimes an indicator and on what kind of shape they come here uh, to good us an in. Uh, but we don't rely on that. We've got to rely on ourselves and our performances. And finally, speaking your programme notes about being courageous, what is it exactly you want to see from your players when it comes to courage this afternoon? Well, well toughness and commitment to the cause comes physically, but it also comes with the ball. And I think we found a right balance against Leeds uh, in doing that. So we want that again today. We've got to be tough, we've got to be hard to beat, we've got to play hard um, and put the miles on the clock. But equally, we've got to go and use the ball and use it wisely to go and open up the opposition. I thought there was good signs of that against Leeds. It's a work in progress. We've got to continue that work today. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Sean. Well, that is about all there is from Everton Live. We've heard from the players, we've heard from the manager. So now it's over to the boys on the grass. We hope you've enjoyed the show and everything that we've brought to you. But sadly, on a, on a sad note now, 
John Mott's an absolute legend of broadcasting, sadly passed away. He's been the voice to so many's childhoods and, you know, a voice we will always think of when we think to the beautiful game. So everybody at Everton sends our deepest condolences to John Mott's family. We hope you've enjoyed the show and come on you blues.